runny nose. The flu and the common cold have many symptoms but a runny nose is one of the most common. If your nose is runny, it is generating more mucus than usual. Mucus is the slimy, gooey substance produced by the mucous membranes. What causes a runny nose? A runny nose can be caused by a number of different factors. It is a physical reaction to external circumstances or internal conditions. When you have a cold or the flu, your body produces extra mucus to keep the germs out of your lungs and other important parts of the body. Sometimes, your nose runs when it is very cold outside. This is because your nose is trying to warm the cold air before it enters the lungs. The extra work your nose is doing results in rapid mucus production and causes your nose to run. Your nose also runs when you cry because your tear glands and your nose are connected. When your body produces tears, your eyelids drain the tears by emptying them into your nose. The tears mix with mucus and make your nose run. People with allergies may experience a runny nose when they are around allergens, things to which they are sensitive. Typical allergens include pollen, dust, mold, and flakes of skin from animals. How can you stop your nose running? Most people blow their runny nose with a tissue. The correct way to do this involves pressing a finger over one nostril while gently blowing the other. Besides using a soft tissue, you should moisturize the area under the nose with lotion to prevent your skin being irritated by frequent blowing. Drinking a lot of water helps your body deal with extra mucus more quickly as it makes it more fluid. Inhaling warm steam can also help soothe the mucous membranes in the nose and make the mucus thinner. If your runny nose is causing serious problems, you can consider using a saline nasal spray or a neti pot, which breaks down thick mucus and makes it easier to remove. A runny nose does not usually require treatment and it should go away on its own within a few days. However, if your runny nose is caused by allergy, it is best to consult a doctor.